It is almost impossible for many to start the year with no set goals or New Year resolutions. For many, personal improvement is amongst a list of priorities when a new year begins. The quest to be in the best shape of body, soul and mind always sets in. And even for those who are not body goal enthusiasts, there's an element of physical well-being they work at improving. One thing almost constant with this desire is exercise. Gym subscriptions are off the roof in January, an indication on the, the psyche of many about the first month being the most important in setting themselves up for a healthy year. Alpha Romeo is a gym instructor and he tells me the numbers just four days into the year are an increase of their usual. As of January 2023, now it's better. Um, it's just four days and you can see the inflow is very good. It's quite encouraging as compared to last year. About 80% want to lose weight because they eat all the junk and all that. The rest want to keep fit, you know, build some muscles here and there, but then majority want to lose weight. Somewhere along the line though, a lot of these numbers reduce. Normally you have a lot of people starting working out aggressively around June, July because you have about six months to the end of the year. You just want to be in shape, look good. Sometimes you have that goal and ambition, but it's not that easy, trust me. So along the line, a lot of people will fall off, but you have it all the time. A lot of people want December body. Not only the guys. I mean, the women want to, you know, get into shape with, you know. But exercise isn't the only thing people work at. Diet is integral, if not the most important. People begin the year opting for what they see as healthy food choices. For my health for this year, I will train, I will go keep feet, I will jog, and I mean I will swim and I will eat good food. Yeah, I will be eating the banku and the okra stew. Yeah, after that in the I mean the afternoon time I will be taking fufu and cutting kwai. I want to live healthy life. I want to be strong. My six pack will be strong. As I'm standing here, um, next year I'll be 40 years. Yes, but you will not see it because I choose my meal. I don't eat chunky foods, no. I don't, I don't at all. And all my meals, I cook them myself. This year, I'll consume more vegetables and fruits and take in more water. However, at a time when disposable incomes have dwindled and food inflation has hit the roof, healthy living seems almost a luxurious choice. But dietitian Nana Kofi Usu says one can eat healthy on a lean budget. A local food, say a body or a barrier or a monkey, cocoa yam, plantain with some palava sauce or some garden next to you, will be filled with nutrients. They are not empty, they are nutrient dense. So I'd say that because of the cost component, because of the nutritional superiority, and because of the readily availability, uh, that is why we should choose our local foods over our foreign foods. The dietitian is, however, against skipping meals, whether it is to save money or lose weight. When you miss your meals, you tend to eat a bit more on the next meal. So instead of taking, say, one bowl of kinky, satiety is deferred, and you tend to want to go to two bowls or three bowls. Why don't you rather spread that two bowls of kinky, take one, in the morning and take one in the afternoon. It's the same cost component. You have just reduced the quantities. I have what I call the one gallon principle. It means that you should tend to eat like the taxi drivers buy fuel. They buy one gallon, they use it when it's getting finished and then they just stop up. That's how we should eat a bit at a time, moderate quantities. So if we learn to eat in moderation, we'll be able to eat three times. Often missing in the body goal resolution for most people is regular checkups at the hospital. People will mostly only visit the hospital because they feel unwell. Dr. Karich Dugbe is a medical practitioner at the Ridge Hospital and says people must change this habit. It's advisable to do regular checkups anyway, at least every year. There are some routine labs that you can do and if the health 
provide things that from these routine labs, there's an indication to do more labs to uh, diagnose a particular illness, then he, da he or she does that. There are certain diseases that can be prevented if individuals do proper lifestyle changes, uh, live healthy lives. He says a healthy lifestyle should not be for a period, but a lifelong decision. If we can discipline ourselves to adhere to uh, our healthcare provider's instructions, then we, we do not have to say that I'm achieving December body. We, our body would already be in that December body and takes us through so many years. More often than not, the health and wellness resolutions made by people are highly restrictive and unsustainable, leading most people to break their resolutions within a few weeks. To break that cycle, it is important to make resolutions that can not only improve health, but also be followed for life. Aisha Yakubu Halid, TV3.